Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 13 of Super Mario, of Super Mario, of Full Grown Gaming's Super Mario 64 Let's Play. And I know I said I was going to be going b upstairs and doing some stars up there, but I decided to, just because it's my nature to finish things, to uh, go back downstairs, actually in the backyard, to finish some stars I missed uh, before I go up, go on. I guess it's my OCD kicking in, I gotta finish something before I start something else. And... I'm just gonna go ahead and get the red coin star in here because that's the last one. And I, l I have my uh, trusty player's guide. I took a gander at before I started this commentary, so I'm pretty sure I know where they all are. And let's see, what can we talk about this episode? Last episode, I was pretty proud of how, how many. Well, I mean, it was just a couple of people, but the, the opinions I got regarding what game. I need to go back in there. What game was the most influential to today's first person shooter genre the responses I got were pretty nut I'm proud of my uh, our mine and Joe's fan base seemed like some pretty intelligent people well-informed uh, opinions and I'd like to have a question or a controversial little uh, topic on every episode that you guys can respond to and duke it out in the comments not that that happened last time but it's pretty. It's been pretty civil so far, but if we ever get big, I know it's gonna get crazy. Um, not that we're expecting to get big or anything. Anyway, enough rambling about that. For this episode, I thought on the way home. That's my new little pastime now. On the way, I have to walk home because I live right next to my school. And on the way home, I usually think about, you know, what can I talk about in this, the commentary I'm gonna do today. And today, I thought, you know, and usually I try to think of something video game related. Um, maybe eventually I'll start talking about other stuff if I run a, a video game stuff to talk about. But today I thought, you know, what do you guys think about achievements or trophies on the Xbox? I mean on the PS3. Uh, I don't consider myself an achievement whore. Oh, you better not, Mario. D okay, good. Um, I don't consider myself an achievement whore, as they say. I don't buy games just for achievements. I've never played Avatar. I've never played Guitar Hero on the Xbox. Because if I did, I definitely would have all those achievements. Because I'm pretty good at that game. You guys from Score Hero probably know that. Um, so I wouldn't consider myself an achievement whore. But for the games I do have, I try to get all the achievements. So I don't know if that's contradictory or anything. But basically what it boils down to is I don't buy games for achievements. And I don't go... I do go out of my way to get achievements, obviously, but, yeah, I've heard people, like, some of my own friends, they will not buy a game if they don't think they'll be able to get all the achievements, and I think that's pretty stupid, honestly. If, you watch, if you're watching and you do that, I don't think you're doing it right, I'm sorry. Um, like, and also, stuff like Avatar, if you, okay, and that reminds me, gamer score. People say that gamer score is like a useless number next to your gamer tag and it probably is but I don't think of it that way I think of it as like a a representation of how well how much time you put into your games first of all and how much you how dedicated you are to finishing what you started people that have like 10 completion percentages 10 percent completion I mean there's nothing wrong with that it's just I don't think of that person who as like a I don't I, I was gonna say I don't think of that person any low any lower than a regular person I mean because I don't okay enough rambling I love rambling um, but yeah achievement gamer score stuff like that it doesn't really matter and I know that but I still think it's kind of fun and uh, everyone loves that pop you hear when you get an achievement um, yeah so, give me your opinions on achievements. Do you think it's right to, first of all, do you think it's right to look at the achievement? I mean, you can look at the achievement list, obviously. But do you think it's right to base a uh, purchase of a video game, like the decision of purchasing a video game, off of the achievement list? Like, if you see an achievement, you think, man, that's going to be really hard to get. Or, if you look at an old game where people have complained about the achievements, would you consider not buying that game just for the because of that one achievement, or would you go ahead and get it? Personally, I mean, the achievements aren't a break, uh, make or break deal for me. I don't know. I just like getting them. 
So that's enough rambling about achievements. I gotta find something else to talk about to tide you guys over for the next five or six minutes. How about we talk about what is your favorite genre of video game? I think my favorite genre right now is the, let's see, what would be, I think RPGs are my favorite genre, but I don't like, specifically I like turn-based RPGs. Strategy, like, Kingdom Hearts is good too, but I don't, I'd rather have a turn-based RPG like Final Fantasy X or VII, or really any of the Final Fantasy games except Crisis Core that I can think of, than have a, where you run around, like an action RPG. Mass Effect, like, that's a little bit of an exception, I really like that game, but, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys, uh, your favorite, uh, genre of video game is. Now, let's see, for this star, I haven't talked about the episode at all this, this time, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. What do you, should I talk about the video game, like, the actual gameplay more often, and I feel like I'm a, a Call of Duty commentator right now. If you watch pretty much any new Call of Duty commentator, they'll be like, they'll talk about the gameplay. And then as they move on, they'll start talking about stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with the gameplay. And I guess that's just a, a development. But what do you guys think I should do? Should I talk more about the gameplay, or should I talk about just video game stuff in general? Or should I talk about stuff that has nothing to do with video games, just so you have something to listen to while you watch? Uh, I know this is like the third question. But uh, just go ahead and tell me what you guys think about that. What, where do you think these commentaries should go? I think, if you go back and watch my first commentary and compare it to this one, I think it's a lot worse than this one. I, re I don't know how this will turn out because I haven't finished it yet, but I just take episode 12. I was pretty proud of that episode, honestly. Um, the gameplay was nice. I thought the commentary was decent. I'm not going to toot my own horn, like I said last episode, but uh, I was pretty proud. And I want to know what you guys think of the channel so far. So this is kind of like a, a little checkup, I guess. Tell me what you think. And also, what do you think of Joe? I'm sure he would be interested in hearing what you guys... Do you like... Okay, not specifically about Joe, but do you like the dual commentaries, or would you rather listen to a just me? Well, that's that. And for the star, I guess I better talk about the gameplay a little bit, or it wouldn't really be a let's play. I'm going to go ahead and get the Shining Atop the Pyramid star. And to get that, you just got to climb to the top of the pyramid. And I guess that's kind of like this level's um, mountain, or, well, I don't know. Uh, well, I didn't mean for that to happen, but that can sometimes, like, sometimes it'll throw you a lot higher than it should, I think. And, it, oh, gotta be careful here. Okay. Now, if you go in there, if you slide in there by accident, you, I don't know what you can do. Because, yeah, I mean, you can do it if, alright, let me think before I talk. That's a, a hard thing to do these days. Oh, that was pure luck right there. <gasps> No, that was pure bad luck. And this is a perfect time to introduce what me and Joe called the catch. Every time me and Joe try to do something, uh, and I'll give you the first time he ever came over here to my house as, as an example. He came over here and he leaned on my, like, one of the posts on my bed. Just, I don't know, you know, a natural, just leaning over. And the... Uh, what is it? The little cap on the post of my bed popped off. And that was the very beginning of what me and Joe called the catch. From then on, everything we do, something goes wrong. And you can ask him. I want to get him on here and have him tell you about the catches we've endured. Um, let's, I'm trying to think of some other stuff that's happened. It, basically, nothing, like, physically happens to us, but just little quirks in everyday life. Uh, happen to us. I guess it probably doesn't happen any more than to any other person, but I don't know. It's just something we like to think about. I sounded kind of ethnic right there. Oh, ethnic. That's another, uh, uh, what is it? Beans term. Beans glitch. I know you guys have heard about that in one of the other episodes. I gotta, you know what? One of these days, I'm going to make an addiction, or not a dictionary, like a. You have got to be kidding me. Alright, you know what? Forget it. I'm flying up there. I'm not gonna do it the legit way. But, uh, a, maybe a video describing simply the terms of Beanslish so you guys can listen along uh, and actually understand this when we're talking. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there, make it a little short. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was kind of running short on stuff to talk about. 
But I did do a pretty decent job. I got four stars this episode. Hopefully, next episode, we will get to 60 stars. And I do have to warn you, tomorrow there will not be an episode because I have to... There's a makeup appointment at the eye, eye doctor. And these contacts have been uh, really, really helpful. Just thought you guys should know that. A little personal detail. So, thank you for watching episode 13. I'm surprised nothing really bad happened this episode due to the uh, nature of the number of the episode. But uh, thank you for watching episode 13. Please rate. Apparently that helps me. And comment on the what, three or four topics I was talking about. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos. Because, you know what? I want to get to 25. I made a bet with my friend that I couldn't. So you might want to help me out with that. So, I do this every episode, by the way. I ramble at the end. I'm going to end it right here before I go any further. Thank you for watching episode 13, and I will see you next time.